Hey folks, Mangrel here. Welcome back to the channel. And it looks like we finally have HD OSD support for the Goggles 2. Not the Goggles V2, but the Goggles 2. And it's been hidden and disguised under this firmware. So even though this says that it's for the new DJI Goggles Integra, which is the, I guess, slimmed down version of the Goggles 2, this firmware does actually apply to the regular Goggles 2 as well. It does a whole bunch of things that's more Avada based, but hidden in here as well is the ability of using HD OSD for both the O3 and the Cadex Vista air unit light or whatever you want to call that piece. And what we're talking about here when we say HD OSD is the ability of pushing those OSD elements to the very corners of the display and also having them show up a lot smaller than what they currently are showing up as. So this is quite exciting. This firmware just came out today, 11 hours ago. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So you wanna go ahead and open up the Consumer Drone Series DJI Assistant 2 and we see our DJI Goggles 2 here. And when we click into it, we should see a 1.05 firmware and you can see I've already upgraded to this. And the release notes are exactly what we just saw, which tells me that it supports HD OSD. So you can go ahead and update to this version. There is no update for the actual O3 Air unit. This is specifically for the goggles itself. So after the update, this is what you see. This is the classic canvas mode. You can see how large these fonts are. You cannot push them to the very corner of a display. Let's pull up our menu and we can go over to settings. We wanna go over to display and under canvas mode, we now have the ability of flipping from normal canvas mode, which is that huge mode you just saw over to HD mode. And under HD mode, you can now see that not only is a font smaller, but it's also pushed more to the corner. At this point, we can switch over to beta flight and set this up in HD mode. You do have to make sure that you are on beta flight 4.4, which you see I am. So under the OSD tab, I can now flip this over to HD and I can now move these elements around. So I can move this to the very corner. I can move this over here and I can move these down to here, which now if I go back to the goggles, I should be able to see these reflected nicely in exactly the same sort of fashion here. So let's save this. Let's look at the goggles. Yep, and you can see they're pushed to the very corners and they are also lined up exactly like that. Finally, we have the ability of HD OSD on the O3 system. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more videos.